Avoid the lottery of FIFA points. Head over to u7bike.com. Use the code TVM at checkout for a 5% off. What is going on guys, Steve M here, welcome back to the road to glory, new week, new objectives, and one that I've nearly done, in fact we're going to complete it today, no, not Condogbia, although, score three separate, in three separate rival matches using a full first owned La Liga starting squad, uh, it doesn't say... It says squad. I'm guessing it means subs uh, because Zhao Felix, the player that we are going to complete right now, uh, win three squad battles matches using a full Portuguese squad. Not as easy as it looks. I actually lost one yesterday. I wasn't paying attention. They scored and then I could not for the life of me get back into the game. I was playing an 86 rated team on like 70 chem and I just couldn't score. But um, for as boring as it will be, uh, there is, a, I, 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 I don't know whether there's a lot to talk about, but there is a, a fair bit to talk about regarding FIFA 20. The beta is out, of course. I don't have access to it uh, for the first time. I'm, I've never been given a beta code, but I've always had the opportunity to play the game. Uh, someone has always let me on their account to play it. This year, unfortunately, no one I know or any of you guys have the, the beta. So, uh, I'm not that bothered by it because it normally distracts me from you know other things but uh yeah i know uh it's um it's august the 10th get over the fact that i'm using a fitness card on those players i don't know if i have any packs to open i would suggest not uh but and i know i'm gonna go into a live game now and it's gonna be a squad battles game but i am a little bit pressed for time because i honestly need to start streaming so i'm going to just uh, play a game against the AI uh, on professional difficulty. Ugh, I know, but uh, like I said, I don't have an awful lot of option. Uh, let me type in to Twitter, FIFA 20 beta, and have a little look-see. There's an account that went from like one follower to like 412,000 followers. Uh, so I can scroll through all of the stuff that... Um, I can scroll through all of the stuff that they have here. So, there's there's a lot of stuff being leaked um, with regards to, obviously, Ultimate Team. But, you know, the Volta um, career mode and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm actually watching a little video now of Ronaldo retiring and Sampdoria appointing him the manager. Which is, um, you know, very football manager-esque. You know, you often... Play, if, you, if you don't play Football Manager, you won't know what the hell I'm talking about. But um, if you do, then you'll know that nearly every player, not all of them, but nearly every player will retire and then become a staff member. So whether they're good enough to become a manager, like Wayne Rooney normally takes charge at Derby County, which he may very well do in real life at some point, who knows. But um, yeah, it, it's normally a case of uh, a player will become uh, an ex-player will become the manager of a team that they've once played for or have an interest in uh, but it looks like that's going to be the case in FIFA which is, is is cool it's a nice little touch I don't think it really matters um in the grand scheme of things I think that uh I mean arguably you could I don't know why you'd want to do this but you could make yourself as a player put yourself into your database make you like 34 years of age but insane and then when you retire theoretically you will be oh nice one uh you will be a manager um i don't know why you'd want to do that but hey you can uh what are the th things do we have here there's a i can't show you any of this stuff which is really irritating because i'll either get banned or something will happen something bad will happen there were people streaming it yesterday hello 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 oh people were streaming it yesterday and they, I don't know, they, like some guy literally, as soon as 6 o'clock came, he had it pre-downloaded. And he had his stream, like, ready to go at 6 o'clock. And he was like, right, come on, lads. And he named it, like, FIFA 20 Closed Beta on the stream. Uh, obviously not knowing that he could get banned for, for doing it. I've seen people's Twitch accounts get banned. I've seen their actual FIFA accounts get banned for uh, doing, uh, for, for streaming and creating content on on the beta last year and the year before. So I don't know why people risk it. And as soon as people like the stream went live, everyone was like, no, don't do it. You're going to get banned. And then he like literally shat his pants, closed the stream down and 
we didn't hear from him ever again. But um, I've seen a lot of people stream the content. There's, like I said, there's a FIFA, uh, not a FIFA, a Twitter account that is literally called, oh, that's beautiful one from Ronaldo. What a goal that is from Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, FIFA 20 beta leaks, he's called. And like I said, he's gained like 1,300 followers in a day. Uh, any more information? Uh, uh, what the hell? There's there's an issue with something there. Um, apparently, goalkeepers are a little bit... What's the word I'm trying to... Noncy? Uh, not that great, basically, from what I'm seeing. New Messi celebration in the game. Um, they've, they've shown, like, the, the card design for... I can, again, I can't show you any of this stuff. I'd love to be able to, but I can't. Um... My video would get claimed by EA if I showed you anything. They claimed that gameplay video I put out um, the other day. They claimed it before I even finished uploading it, which was hilarious. So, um, yeah, I didn't make a single penny off that game, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Um, the card design for the... Oh, that was brilliant. The informs looks really nice, really clean, really good. I like it a lot. The inform card design is normally a little bit meh. Like I get bored of it very quickly, but I don't think I'm going to get bored of this one. It does look, it does look, for lack of a better word, and I hate using it in terms of FIFA content because I know certain creators use it and it does my head in. But uh, it looks quite fresh. Uh, let's play this ball inside, get it up the middle. Uh, it's a little bit boring playing this. Obviously, we know, uh, barring a miracle, I know I've won this game now. But that uh, that Zhao Felix card that we'll get for completing this looks very very good and the objectives in general are not difficult to do what i saw yesterday on um oh, i should have just gone for goal there let's go for goal here saw yesterday on fifa 20 uh, someone put a picture out or they were doing a vi actually it was a, a video he was streaming it and he looked at objectives in ultimate team and there was a segment where he had to score like, these are individual goals with an ultimate goal. Does that make sense? So there's five tasks, and you get rewarded for each task you complete, and then when you complete the block of five, you get rewarded with the ultimate sort of reward, you know, the, the overall reward. The overall reward was a 125k pack, which I thought was uh, pretty decent. The... Um, the, the five things, like, I don't know what they were exactly, but they were basically different goal types. So... It was score 100 chip shots, score 100 finesses, score 100 bicycle kicks, score 100 headers. And you got like 25k, I think it was, in coins for completing... I don't know if it was each one, but the one that he was on, which was just finesse shots. Um, you got a, a 25,000 coins for completing the 100 finesse shots. Uh, sorry, chip shots, not finesse shots. So... A lot of people were like, oh, that's a little bit harsh that you only get... I didn't mean to do that, I mean... I. I pressed what I wanted to press. I didn't get that wrong, but it didn't. It, I didn't want it to go to Ronaldo. There was a guy next to him. Um, but yeah, people were saying, "Oh, it's a bit harsh. You have to score 100 finesse shots or 100 chip shots, and you only get 25,000 coins." But it's something you will unlock naturally just through playing the game. Okay, 100 bicycle kicks. I would argue that I may have scored 20 or 30 bicycle kicks in this FIFA even when they were overpowered. So, yeah, okay, maybe you will never do that without going for it. And it's a little bit difficult to go for it. But it was in any game mode, so you could literally go and do it against the AI. It didn't say specifically you had to do it in Rivals or Foot Champs or something. So you could go and play on beginner against the AI and, uh, and literally just lob balls into the box and try and score bicycle kicks. Uh, a little bit annoying to have to grind it out, but something to grind for. Oh, why would I do it for 25k? But then you get a 125k pack at the end of it, and it would be tradable as well. I'm almost certain it would be tradable. Oh, that was not great. Uh, I mean, maybe it wouldn't be tradable. Maybe it would be untradable. I don't know. But it, again, it didn't say tradable or untradable. So normally they would be like, oh, it's untradable. Because they tell you, don't they, when it when it's untradable. But either way, regardless of whether it was uh, a tradable or not, it, it's... um. I like that a lot, and that's just one segment, you know, that's just one objective 
in a whole host of other objectives available to you in FIFA 20, it's going to give us a reason to go and rinse certain things. So in, in certain episodes, we could be like, right, today... We're just going to go and try and score. Okay, I won't be doing it in like single player. I'm literally only doing this now because I don't have time to do it and go play a game with Zhao Felix. So what I'm going to do instead is show you me unlocking Zhao Felix. Unfortunately, it is um, single player on professional against the AI. And I know I've won the game, by the way. So for all of, um, for all of everyone going... How are you not 9-0 up by now? I mean, I'm not really in the market of just try hard to score as many goals as I can. I'm essentially just knocking it around. And if anything opens up, then I'll score. But ultimately, I'm just talking to you, you know? it's I've, I've won. You don't need to win by a certain number of goals or anything. You just need to win the game. And that's all that I'm doing. And this Portuguese side, by the way, is absolute trash. It's not a good team at all. I mean, see what I mean? That's... That's what I'm dealing with. I literally, um, I, I got whatever was in the, um, I used whatever was in the club in terms of players. I didn't buy anyone. Lucky I have Ronaldo, otherwise I don't think I'd be able to do this. Um, the team is awful. Uh, really, really bad. And you have to use Portuguese subs as well. So we can't just like stack the bench with, uh, with Hazard and Bale and stuff. We have to use Portuguese players. Oh, hello. They've scored. What a goal that is. Uh, I'm a little annoyed I didn't take Nanny now because it would have come in handy for this. Well, well, well. Uh, it's I think it's Griezmann, isn't it? I tell you what, this guy has been a thorn in my side all FIFA. That's a great goal. He's chested it in, but that's a really good goal. And every time I play against Griezmann, every single time, he scores. It could be against beginner AI, and I swear he would find a way to score against me. Just gonna, um, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna dick about with it now. I'm just gonna play and see if I can do that. Um, see, I mean, if you try, it's not difficult to score goals, right? It's just a case of trying to do little tricks and flicks and make it look a little bit more impressive than what, um, what it actually is. Just letting that play out in the background. So you can see people uh, streaming Volta and stuff. And Volta looks decent. You know, it's... Um, I, I wouldn't say that it's going to be something that... Uh, I mean, you guys, as far as a Road to Glory is concerned, you'll never see Volta stuff unless they add it to Ultimate Team, which, by the way, would be sexy. Even if they added it into a single-player mode where you could take your players into it. Because I'm almost certain that EA's licensing, as far as icons go, literally is Ultimate Team. They don't go any further than that. Can we... Oh, hello. Why do you use his left? What? Just hit it with your right. You're on your right foot. No, no, I'll use my left. Brilliant. Um, tried to call someone close. Didn't work. This game is fantastic. I love it. But, yeah, I think icons are locked to Ultimate Team. So, we... I mean, again, I'm trying to... Why doesn't it work? Um, it's, uh, it's a little bit frustrating if that's the case because you can't use, like, Ronaldinho in Volta. Literally a game mode built for the likes of Ronaldinho and we can't use him. Uh, really irritating. But it would be really nice if we had, like, a single player option for Volta in Ultimate Team. So we, when we do get those icons or even before we get icons, you know, you want to use Ronaldo, Messi and Kevin De Bruyne in the same team. Uh, it, you know, I, I own him or own them, uh, let me go and play Volta with them. You know, that would be awesome, but um, I'm not sure. Oh, wow, what a save. I'm not sure uh, that's ever going to be the case. Well, not ever. I think maybe next year we might get Volta if it's successful in Ultimate Team, and that would be awesome. And that's something that I've been asking for since around FIFA 16, FIFA 15. Um, when all the rumors of, like, FIFA Street came back around... And uh, we thought that, remember when uh, there was a, a small sort of uh, FIFA Street thing in the journey? Was that this year? I think it might have been this year. It might have been last year. I don't know. But either way, uh, but even before that, there was like, there were rumors of it. And then when the journey came out, it was, oh, this FIFA Street in the journey. You literally play one game in uh, Brazil, like um, on the streets of Brazil. And it's fun. It is cool. And I think that was the first taste of, of what, this is, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's a shame that they that they haven't added it to Ultimate Team. Maybe though, maybe we get it next year. Who knows? Oh, really? 
That's what I mean. These Portuguese players are trash. I mean, at this point now, we've won. Can we just end the game? I feel like West Ham and Norwich both felt like that in the Premier League this uh, this past weekend. Uh, I say past this weekend. We're still in it. It's still Saturday. Don't know why I said past. Let's see if we can get maybe one more goal here and uh, put this game really to bed. Not that I'm in concerned about not winning the game. Just drill it across. Uh, nearly an own goal. Got anything else to talk about? The pack animation, of course. The pack animation is absolutely sensational. A lot of people have saying that they don't like it. I really like it. I think it's um I think it's 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 cool. I think it could have been done a little bit better and maybe they'll tweak it before it comes out, who knows? But um I think it, it's it's nice. If you haven't seen it already, just go onto Twitter or whatever and type in uh, FIFA 20 pack animation or something, and I'm sure you'll get the I'm sure you'll get the video of it. it it's not clear because everyone who has the beta, right? None of them have recording software, like not one of them, and they're all recording things on their mobiles and toasters and potatoes and things. So the quality is terrible. But um, yeah, the pack animation for me to explain it to you is essentially a tunnel and it's uh, the tunnel leading to the pitch and you get for a no for a non walkout the doors on the tunnel will be gold and for a walkout the doors are black and then depending on what uh, player you have and how good the player is d determines whether you'll go onto the pitch and how far down the tunnel you'll go if it's a non rare walkout i believe you stop quite early on in the tunnel before you get anywhere near the pitch if it's a rare gold you'll go a little bit further maybe halfway down the tunnel if it's a board or what the equivalent of um uh the equivalent of this year's board if it is a board that's brilliant he's got to be offside though he's not it's a corner unlucky um if it's the equivalent of this year's board 83 plus or something you go a little bit further again i think into almost onto the field but not quite and then if it's a walkout you go all the way out into the stadium i'm guessing you hear a massive roar the boards are there the player comes out it's like he's being presented to the club it's really good i like it a lot i think it's um, I think it's very very cool there's there's flares and fireworks and all sorts of nonsense in there as well if you want to um if you want to go check it out, feel free. But uh, I, I like it. I think it's good. It's it's a sh not a shame. It's the first time in a long time I've actually seen a pack animation from a new FIFA and liked it immediately. Uh, th this year's pack animation, I love. Right, I think it's brilliant. When I first saw it, granted they have made changes since, but when I first saw it, I thought it was the worst thing I've ever seen. It looked like a, a mobile game, but um, like I said, they've changed it. A lot since they made the card bigger they got rid of the text in the background the text in the background by the way is still on the switch version so if you do have the switch you have my utmost sympathies um, you need to get a real console to play FIFA on basically and um, yeah I think we're more or less at the end of this game now 3-1 and uh, it could have gone a lot worse this is an 86 rated team with Griezmann in it so I was actually expecting to look can you imagine if I'd lost that would have been so embarrassing so embarrassing. Send uh, Ronaldo over the top. Just abusing Ronaldo on professional difficulty because I need to. Um, the Juventus kits that aren't Juventus, I, don't, I can't remember what they're called, they look terrible. And they reckon that they the, the some of the staff came out before... Um, some of the staff came out before the beta was announced or anything or launched or whatever. And they were like, um, oh, actually, we think the Juventus kits look better than the actual kits. No, mate. No, they don't. They are horrible. Uh, Ronaldo, man of the match. I, get, I bet you all really wanted to know that. Look at the stats. Oh, we absolutely battered them. 1,000 points, though. I'll take that. Gold three. May very well need to play a little bit more to finish gold three. What are we saying? Uh, yeah, we're only 500 points in it with over a day to go. I don't know if there's any other, or if there are any other objectives to complete. I don't need to finish goal three, but it would be decent. Well, we get to pick up our Zhao Felix, a player that I'll keep. I really like the team of the season version. I don't know whether this is higher rated or not. I haven't checked or whether it's the same rating, but I mean, that's a, that's a free card. You know, three star, three star is a shame. He doesn't have four star, four star or just four star skills or something. I wonder what his team of the season is because his team of the season is a very good card again it's a shame he doesn't have the um the four star skills 91 rated his team of the season so that's a shame but um 
hey, I'm not going to complain. That was more or less free. I was listening to a podcast. Podcast? I was listening to a podcast while I was uh, playing the games last night. One of the reasons why I lost one of them was I literally was just listening to the podcast and I was looking at um, football stats while I was doing it. Uh, don't ask why. Um, and yeah, I just I took my eye off it and then I conceded and I was like, oh, great. And then I just could not score. But um, that's a great card for free. Big fan of that. Put that into the club. Obviously now at Atletico as well, whereas the team of the season is still at Benfica. So that's cool. I don't know if there's any other squad battle things. Rival games, rival games for these foot swap items. The thing is, we're going to have to do them. Assist five goals using English players in rivals. I have to do either that or score in two separate rivals matches using a Dutch league player. And I think that's it. So I have to do one of them. I'm not going to do this, by the way. Score a goal in both footies with both footies, Kondogbia and Jao Felix, in a match to earn a 50k back. It's interesting. It's fun because it's not too difficult to get these cards. You know, scoring three separate rival matches with a full first own owner La Liga team. That's not difficult to do. And I may very well go after that because a 93 can dog beer is kind of sexy. However, uh, I'm then not going to go into games and try and score with both of them because that would be ridiculous. Um, as far as the foot swap items are concerned, I'm going to have to go after one, surely. Uh, scoring two separate rivals matches using a Dutch league player. I mean, I, I might be able to. I mean, I, let's be honest. That's going to be the easiest one to do. Uh, I think I might go after that. Assist five goals using English players. I mean, I could probably do that. I would just have to cross for days. We'll see. We'll see how we, we get on. I don't think there was anything released in terms of uh, SBCs yesterday. That, that was. I think there was a Milinkovic Savage that was released. There it is. Um, 893 rated. I mean, that's a great card. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Big fan of it. But, but, uh, I'm not bothered like i'm not going to do it i don't care enough to do it 86 and an 85 with the team of the season i think that's value good card but not for me i'll wait until something else comes around should we check uh foot swaps to see how many foot swap tokens we actually have because i don't know if i have I, I mean i might have to just knock this fabinho on the head if i don't have enough or i might have to go for both of those foot swap items you need what do you need nine i think i've got like three um I did one objective last week. What? Is, yeah, I've got three. Eleven. Oh, dear, dear, dear. What am I doing in my life? So, um, just whack him in there. Pop him in there. And he can go there. Right, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six. One from uh, squad battles. Would there be another in squad battles again? I'm pretty sure there would be, right? Let's just assume there will be. So we'll get two from squad battles, because I'll do them, because that they're, they're not they're not bad. I don't mind doing that. I don't mind playing against the AI, funnily enough. Um, we'll get another SBC, that, so that's three. And then I need another three. So... Uh, how else can I get them? Have I missed the boat on this? Two in weekly objectives... That gives and that leaves me needing one. Where does the other one come from? Have I shafted this already? I don't know. Let me know down below whether I've screwed this up already. Like if I get the the one in squad battles this week, which I think I've already got. If there's another one, then I'll get him. That's two. The squad battles, uh, sorry, the SBC. They'll they'll release another one as an SBC. That's three. There's two currently in weekly objectives. That's five. We have three, which makes eight. I need one more. Surely there's one more to come somewhere. Let me know in the comments down below how I get that. I've not done an awful lot with foot swaps this year. So, you know, uh, the fact that uh, I may need to go and grind actually gives me a reason to play the game. And I do really want this Fabinho. So um, don't be angry with me. But if you have enjoyed today's episode of The Road to Glory, don't know why you would have done, but we did talk a lot of FIFA 20, picked up a new card. Uh, we've assessed this situation, which now looks dire. But uh, like I said, if you have enjoyed it, smack the like button, subscribe to the channel for you. And until the next time, goodbye.